first I want you to focus on these two semicircles. I'm going to label it as semicircle 1, semicircle 2. Notice that the diameter of semicircle 1 is made up of this red line as well as this green line. So if you were to look at the diameter of semicircle 2, you realize that it's made up of the same green line together with this red line that I'm drawing. As both of these semicircles are identical, their diameter should be the same, which is actually made up of the green line, the same green line, as well as the red line. Therefore, I can conclude that the red lines are both equal in length. So if this red line is 22 cm, the red line over here should also be 22 cm. Once you can see that, we are able to find the length of the blue line here. By taking 22, take away 12 which is 10 so this is 10 cm that's the first step knowing that these five semicircles are all identical if you look at the third semicircle that I'm going to label now its diameter is made up of 22 cm which is the red line as well as the green line next I'm going to label this semicircle as semicircle 4 for semicircle 4, it should also have a green line as well as a red line of length 22 cm. So once again, we are able to conclude that this line here in blue is also 10 cm if you take 22 minus 12. I repeat, if you were to take the red line 22 cm, take away the 12 cm, you will get the blue line which is also 10 cm. Now, if I were to remove some of the highlights, you will be able to see that for semicircle 5, its diameter is actually made up of 10 cm here, plus 16 cm, plus another 10 cm. So that will be your equation for step 2. 10 plus 16 plus 10, which is 36. So there we go, the diameter of the semicircle. So that was part A, now let's move on to part B. To find the perimeter of the figure, first we have to combine the 5 semicircles into 2.5 circles. So to find the circumference of 2.5 circles, we can take 2.5 times pi times d, d for diameter. 2.5 times pi, we are going to leave pi as pi first, and the diameter is 36 from part A. That will give you 90 pi. For perimeter of any figure, it's always good to highlight where you have found. So I'm going to remove all those things that I've drawn earlier. So 90 pi is here. 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 And here. So we're going to find the perimeter of the entire figure by adding 22, 12, 16, another 12, and another 22 to 90 pi. So 90 pi plus 22 plus 12 bracket times 2 because there are two sets of 12 and 22 and you add with 16 that will give you the answer. As this is the last step to solve the question, this is the time where you key in the calculator value of pi and you are supposed to round off your answers to two decimal places so you have to put approximately equals to 366.74 That's the perimeter of the figure. Don't forget to put in the units of measurement. So for part A is 36 centimeters. For part B is 366.74 centimeters.